Welcome to video number five in the financial independence challenge that we're doing this month. In this video, we're going to look at row number four and do just some simple math. This will be an easy video. It's not as long as the first two or three videos. This is a challenge that I'm doing in case you didn't see the first two or three videos and it's stepping you through this handout where you can see how close you are to being able to live off of your investments and the whole understanding of living off your investments versus spending your savings and how that works and how close you are and also just some ideas for uh, perhaps changing where you are if you do find that you have a gap like most people do so you can grab the handout at retiresurgeon.com forward slash gap gap if you don't already have it, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all the videos that step you through filling out the handout in this challenge, which I'm super excited to do with you. I'm Camille Gaines. I've been investing for almost 40 years. I write about investing and creating multiple streams of income over the past 15 years at retirecertain.com. In this video, I'm going to step you through uh, number four here, row number four, which is income divided by 12. If you don't have the handout, just pause the video, go grab it. You can come back and watch, watch the rest of this video so that you're with me. So you're going to take that amount that you got, you took your liquid assets that you have for investing, and then you took the expected yield and what we did it's it's probably less expected yield than the yield that you've been getting over the past you know six months or that you're currently getting on those investments we multiplied that to get a dollar amount and now what i'd like for you to do is divide that by 12. that's because the yield is normally stated as an annual amount so i don't know about you but you know we kind of keep a close eye on how much we spend every month and of course, you know, we have those nasty little expenses that creep in like, you know, holiday expenses in January and taxes in January, property taxes, etc. which I've done a whole other video about, which you can watch. But as a general rule, we sort of think in terms of monthly expenditures. And I think most people do. That's what I've found in, in doing this. And so if you divide that annual investment income by 12, it will help you compare that to your monthly living expenses. So that's all you're going to do in this video is just take that number for your investment income and divide it by 12 so it turns it into a monthly number that we can work with. That's what I wanted to share here in this video. If you found this information helpful, give me a thumbs up. I haven't said that in a while because I usually say just subscribe so you get all of the steps in this handout because I'm super excited about doing this challenge with you. Grab the handout at retirecertain.com forward slash gap. I'll leave it up for a little while after the video. So if you're watching this a little bit later than the posting date, you know, feel free to go ahead and, and head over and grab it. I'll leave it for a little while on my website. Thanks for watching.